There are many places to find yourself in the scenes of Holy Week because they give us in one short space many of the emotional and spiritual places in which we often live. Sometimes we're part of a hopeful crowd, carried along by the momentum as we cry out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. He's the one we've been waiting for. There are days when we know it's true, right down in our core, and following Jesus feels like promises fulfilled. Then there are days when our relationship with God feels cluttered with unnecessary furniture that Jesus is urging us to push aside. There are days when forgiveness seems like something we can't afford or can't afford to give unless Jesus shows us how. And there are nights when we sit around a table like the disciples at the Passover meal and Jesus is doing something, but we don't understand what or why. He's modeling love and service, but it doesn't look like what we expect. There are nights when we want to stick with Jesus, when we long for the wisdom to know the right things and the strength to actually do them, but we're exhausted. We're tempted to give up or give in, to close our hearts and eyes. And we need the one who stays awake who stays the course when we cannot. There are times when someone asks us, are you one of them? And the moment feels charged and tense. And maybe the words we wish we'd speak aren't the ones that come out of our mouth. Jesus is in all of these scenes, just as he's present in all the moments of our lives. It's our prayer that you find yourself in Holy Week and find Jesus in your own day to day. Stay with the story. Keep watching for what God is doing. Resurrection is on the way and the world will never be the same.